Miles to the gallon, weight in stones, bananas by the pound, it's all as British as, well, a pint of milk. But now, some news that's likely to make some of you hot under the collar, measured in Fahrenheit, of course. Since the mid-70s, the European Union has urged Britain to embrace metrification instead of the imperial measurements many of us are used to. But in typically idiosyncratic style, the UK has been allowed to display imperial measures alongside grams and kilograms. But now, in an open letter, the British Weights and Measures Association is warning that from the end of 2009, that will no longer be allowed, thanks to a European directive. So is it a case of give them an inch and they'll take a kilometre? Well, the Department of Trade and Industry has weighed in with this statement. The aim of the government is to strike a balance between the need for change and the continuing preference of much of the UK public for familiar imperial measures. The European Commission will be reviewing the working of the metrication directives. The government will, of course, consult widely on what ch whatever changes may be proposed. Well, Warren from the British Weights and Measures Association, the organisation who wrote today's letter, and also with us, Ros Denny from the UK Metric Association. Um, Warwick Cairns, why are you getting so worried now? Well, it's a, it seems to be an attack on freedom of speech. I know it's three and a half years away, but three and a half years isn't very long. And you think, at, at, at that point, it would become illegal, a criminal offence, in fact, to put on a, a can of beans that this 500 grams is equal to so many ounces. And I can't see why the, the, the law should prevent that. Why, if you want to know what it is in ounces, or ancient Chinese units, or whatever you like, I can't see why the law should stop you from doing that. Uh, Ros Denny, should they just well, get with the 21st century? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, first of all, you don't get ounces on cans and beans. But you mentioned about, e the, you brought in this EU thing. In fact, it's not an EU. Uh, situation that we're in. It's, it's, it's a UK government situation. We decided back in 1965 that we were going to go metric. And I'm very glad that Warwick and, and his group weren't involved when we went decimal in 1971. So it had because nothing, we, nothing to do with, with the EU at all. So this directive... It does, it, the, the, the directive was, was, was a separate thing. We made the decision 19, back in 1965 that Britain was going to go metric. The Commonwealth has gone metric. 94% of the world's population live in metric countries. And hey, most of the world speaks English now or, or it's, it's the language that we, we, sorry, we correspond in. in so therefore is it not complementary that we also adapt to the units that Warwick other Cairns, people I, use? I'm sorry to butt in but uh, I, I, you don't want to go over past history. You say 1965 but you know in 1979 the metrication board was abolished but that's I mean it, it's past history really. But what, what we're talking about here is freedom of choice. If people want to have ounces on their cans as well as grams then why should we ban it? Why, sh why, sh why should the law really do that? Are you saying that people should be prosecuted if they continue no, to it's, display... No, it's Warwick that's saying that. I'm not saying it at all. It, it is not a criminal offence to go in for somebody who, who, who doesn't understand metric. And actually, this is another thing the government is guilty of. They have just dumped this system on mm. without informing people. We've had no public information campaign. So will but it, it be illegal not or not, it, sorry, according it to is your not, It is not illegal for someone to go into a shop and say, I will have a quarter of a pound of sweets or salami or whatever. What it is illegal is for the uh, weight then to be measured in, um, in ounces. But then, you know, well, this, is where, this is where... Well, you, well, you does that make sense to you? But, yeah, well, it doesn't actually make sense. This is why we need one system. Ever since the days of Magna Carta, there shall be one standard of measures, and that's what they have in the rest of the world. If you have two standards, then what you're getting is absolute anarchy, and we see this on the markets now, with all the market traders, many of them, who refuse to use metric, even though you ask it, you are told you're, you're to go away. Now, well, of course, you know that in, in the USA, it's compulsory to have both systems of measurement. And I, I wouldn't class the USA as a, a, a country in anarchy, really. What, what do you want the government to do? Uh, to allow freedom of choice. And um, how would they do this? Would they have to legislate? They would, they would do that by, by cancelling a legislation or, or getting a permanent derogation from the EU to allow supplementary measures. And you also them. want them to do something? Well, we, we, we don't want the EU, we want the British government to end this absolute muddle that's gone on for 40 years. We've got uh, children who've been educated since the 70s in metric and they don't understand yeah, you it. Want you want to make compulsory. We, we, we must leave it there. Thank you both very much indeed. Ros Denny <laughs> and Warwick Thanks for joining us.